I wrote a passage to India a quarter of a century ago. It's not a political tract. It is a novel about human beings which hopes here and there to achieve the effect of poetry. The use of the Malaba caves as a recurrent theme is an example of poetic intention, as are the three sections of the book which symbolize the seasons of the Indian year, namely the cold weather, the hot weather, and the rains. But, of course, politics enter. They color the social background, and it might be interesting to look back at the novel for a minute from the political point of view. When it came out, India was ruled by Great Britain to the great discomfort of both parties. And the book dwelt specially on the social discomforts, on the racial arrogance and snobbery of the English, the clubs from which Indians were excluded, trouble on the railways and so on, and also on Indian bitterness and suspicion. Such problems occur all over the 20th century world, and there they assumed a special shape. Thank heaven things have improved. Our present government in Great Britain has cleared out of India, greatly to its credit and much to the relief of us all. The social and psychological tensions have ceased. English and Indians can now meet as equals, without both of them feeling self-conscious, and all that part of a passage to India is out of date, and I'm thankful it should be. I last visited the country in 1945, four years back, when the big change was coming on but hadn't yet taken place. English friends who have gone there since always emphasize the easiness and the friendliness of their reception by Indians. That, unfortunately, does not complete the picture. There's furthermore tension between the Indian communities themselves. My novel handled that too, and particularly dealt with the Hindu-Muslim friction. Those who love the country, and I count myself amongst its lovers, will long for it to achieve internal harmony also. Just for the British to clear out is not enough. Here again I'm an optimist. I believe that the present division into India and Pakistan is going to work. And letters I've had from the country during the last six months are most cheering. I pray that this may happen, and that here also a passage to India may date.